Good morning, YouTubers. I would like to thank everyone for commenting on my don't tell me there. Anyway, you know, the stupid question one. Um, I'm sorry. I have a habit of licking my lips, and I don't know why. Anyway, um, and I hope I get more comments. And um, I would like to ask anybody who watched that video, if you happen to catch a mistake, because there is one, it, it's kind of a hidden mistake, and I didn't do it on purpose. Scout's honor. I really, really, okay. I'm, I would like to point it out to you. When I was talking about being demoted to a, to the second atmosphere and how bad that would be because you could only see what was in front of you, but since it's only on, you're in Dimension 2, which, where everything is on one plane, you would not see anything. Okay, now that's cleared up. See you shortly. Okay, how about God? Where does God fit in to all of this? Since it's been determined by science that there are multiple universes, um, uh, anyway, okay, where does God fit in? Um, the way I was taught in the Methodist Church well, I think all of us, um, starting in the Old Testament all the way through, there was only mention of our planet. Now, we know that there are more planets out there. Um, that's not in the Bible. It's also not in the Bible about there's any other universe. So we've all come to believe that there is only one universe, and we are in it, and our planet is the only thing that exists. And um, if you grew up in the church, you probably were taught the same thing. So it's really hard to throw God into the mix. And um, when I first became curious about higher dimensions than four, um, I didn't know what to do with God. <laughs> Um, because God is everywhere, right? So God is in every universe, every alternate world, uh, uh, every alternate dimension. And, um, but that's not in the Bible either. And I want to know why. Why didn't God tell us about all this? I Maybe he meant for people to get curious about it and start exploring what was outside our realm. So, anyway, that's the other possibility. Um, now, I'm not asking for a nasty fight, okay? I'm just throwing my idea out here. And nobody knows if um, any of us are right or wrong because we have not been to any of these places um, except the moon. <laughs> so my idea and how I was raised was, and I don't endorse this idea. I really don't. Please don't be fooled into thinking I do. But um, the way we were raised as if, this were the only place that anything lived because that's what we've been told by God, right? And God is everywhere. Um, well, what did God mean? Okay, did he mean that he inhabits every single universe? Uh, ad you know, and after and after. no end, infinity. Um, and so the way that people view God, um, God is finite. 
I, I, you know, it gets so confusing, and I really don't know what to do with that. I really would like some feedback on this, uh, and just honestly, what you think or believe. Okay, see you later. Okay, I forgot a couple of things. I have received in the mail as is a prize from a contest by Dearest Becky. And I'm going to show you the sweatshirt. And let me get up, because I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's got her whole gang on it. It's got Becky, who's the little girl with brown hair. Norman, who is in the middle. And he's, I think he's, uh, I don't know what relationship he is. Everybody calls him Norman. And then there's Grandma with the yellow hair. And they do the funniest skits alive that I have ever seen. So everybody, please go check out Dearest Becky. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to put that on after I take my shower. Um, let me just say that one thing, or a couple of things, um, prompted this video. And the first thing is that um, when Alex was much younger, he was very curious about dimensions and string theory and things like that that he had heard about or read about in novels like A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lingle, which is a kid's book. And um, I've always wondered how M.C. Escher did his artwork, especially the staircases. That, that, that's the one that I'm curious about, the staircases. The fish and the birds, you know, that's not really anyway I like it but it's not what puzzles me and so I was trying to figure out if um, he used the Mebius strip or cubism and I think or a cube and I think if he used the cube he would have to have bent one side uh, don't ask me how an artist did that or would I don't know but anyway, he's my favorite artist, and um, that's me going about thinking about all the dimensions. But when Alex was little, back to the topic, we used to discuss um, possibilities and what dimensions were and how to get from one to another. And um, we read some pretty funny things on the Internet, like spin around and do something spin around and jump and you'll be in a different dimension or a different world. <laughs> anyway, some of it's pretty silly, so I think I'll stick to the science. And I'm done for the day. Everybody go out and have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you later. Bye.